All right, rolling on right along with the inner type relation series. So the next one of the not so great relationships would be the super ego relationship or super, super ego pair. All right, same thing as before, whatever all the other negative relationships are in, uh, they're all going to be part of the same uh, quadrant. So your super ego, uh, your extinguishing, your conflictors are usually all going to be in the same quadrant. At least I'd like to think so. Yeah, it should be. So anyway, uh, so again, for me, gamma, uh, all of my usual negative relationships are in the alpha. So if you're a beta, chances are all the negative relationships are going to be in delta and, you know, vice versa. Alpha is not going to do well with gammas and blah, blah, blah. Okay. Again, take some of this a little bit of a grain of salt. This doesn't mean that the relationship is going to be absolute shit and death from the onset. You can have a reasonable um, relationship with people who are one of these not so great pairs okay but you have to understand why you might be having some issues so we're talking super ego super ego what's up with those guys so super ego types is one in which let's do a little screen share again bam super ego pairs here are the pairs again all the different types that are going on right here there i am lie and ese so this would be uh your esfj and entj this, in a, in a nutshell, is me talking to my mother constantly. So what happens here? Super ego pairs often find each other quite mysterious and curious people and appreciate each other's energies due to matching temperaments. Uh, however, leading creative, vulnerable functions, yada, 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 you can read that. Okay, so I don't know about the whole mysterious thing, but matching temperaments does make sense. Okay, temperaments in socionics is usually the first and last letter. So if it's ENTJ, then it's EJ. And ESFJ, EJ. So it's the EJ is the same temperament. Okay, that's kind of what they mean by that. So it's basically you kind of have a nice outgoing, strong energy that you have going on in there. Um, and likely part of the benefit ring, but that's something else. All right, so you have that in common that kind of helps you out. You have a certain energy level and temperament that, you know, you can get along with. But... <clears throat> We, let's see but right here so this is your ego block this top section right here these top two and then your super ego block so this is what you're really good at really enjoy really focus on all the time and this is what you absolutely suck at hate can't stand and trying to stay away from pretty much all the time in the case of the super ego relationship that means that if this is you your super ego partner person is making you work with your two super ego elements that you can't stand that's what they're good at and they want to continue a conversation on right and vice versa what you're really good at is their super ego that they hate they're not good at they're just kind of blind to it they don't understand the point of it they, they don't want to deal with that so what ends up happening is you're kind of talking over each other or past each other you're trying to keep the conversation or the interaction on these kinds of elements, discussing these sorts of things and so on, but they're not so crazy about that. So they keep kind of pulling it here in the area you don't want to be. And vice versa, it's just going back and forth with the two of you kind of like trying to pull this way or that way. In many cases, it just kind of fizzles out. You just feel like you're talking past each other or you can't really get um, the point that you want to get across very well. You're not sure they're getting your point. Um, and it could be going on vice versa. They might be feeling the exact same way. So you may not really be fighting or, you know, really that much at odds per se, but you just feel unsatisfied in the conversation. Like what you're trying to get at, they're just not seemingly getting. And what they're trying to get at, you're not seeming, you know. And But because you, again, are temperamentally kind of similar, this is a relationship that you're more likely to really engage in for, for a while. Okay, because you at least have similar energy levels and disposition and you kind of want to like engage with each other and so forth. Unlike a conflictor type where you might very quickly see from the start that you have nothing in common, don't really want to engage with. You're just like, yeah, whatever. Um, and you just walk away, barely ever saying a word other than hi. You know, here you might actually try to engage for a while. So in a sense, this could almost be more frustrating. Uh because you're trying and trying and trying, it's just not getting anywhere. So again, as you see, uh, this is off of the World Socionics Society page. Uh, I kind of like their little 
uh, where to go. I like their little blurbs and so on because it's kind of short and to the point, very kind of easy to look at. But you can find these same kinds of descriptions and things on other web pages if you'd like, right? So pretty much that's super ego. Um, again, not horrible, but you're oftentimes going to just be talking right past each other. <laughs>